A sobering statistic as we mark National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. On average, nearly 20 people a minute are physically abused by a partner in the United States. The abuse can happen to anyone from all walks of life, even a popular television reporter. News 12's Tara Rosenblum bring us Blaze's story. This is one attraction that promises a lot of family fun. This is the Blaze Gomez you know. But there is another side of this award-winning journalist kept off air. I was like a rag doll thrown around the room. She spent two years in a violent relationship that nearly claimed her life. Everything was flashing before my eyes. Get off me. Get off me. I will call the police. I thought it was going to be a murder-suicide. Blaze survived and is now sharing her story on air. It was just brutal. For the first time. So I met him in 2016, and he presented himself as a down and out Marine veteran, someone who just deserved a second chance. Two months into their budding romance, he proposed. At the start, everything was perfect. So take me back to the first time he got violent with you. We were on vacation in Disney, and he was intoxicated. He kind of snapped my knee to the side and I heard a loud pop. Blaze thought it was a one-time fluke incident, but soon a pattern of documented abuse emerged after the couple got married in July of 2017. The first time he strangled me was uh, shortly after I was about four weeks pregnant. Blaze filed for divorce a few weeks after her daughter was born, which she says sent her husband into a tailspin. A few months later, he tried to kill me. It was St. Patrick's Day 2019. And he took his fingers and squeezed on my trachea and squeezed it shut until I couldn't breathe. And when he did that, something snapped and I knew that he was going to kill me. So I started screaming. I was able to grab my, my cell phone. So I was able to call 911. That day, Blaze summoned up the courage to press charges. Her ex-husband is now facing three to 10 years behind bars when he faces a judge for the brutal assault in an Orange County courthouse next month. I feel like I survived to help others. So Blaze took the bold step of revealing her personal pain publicly two years ago in a series of social media posts. From there, I received hundreds, if not thousands, of messages telling me that I've helped them by sharing my own story. Now, every year, Blaze supports the anti-domestic violence group Fearless by running in a 5K race. You don't think that you can push on, but you see the finish line there. Knowing each time she makes it there. It's an emotional moment. She helps raise awareness for a problem that strikes one in four women worldwide and you cross that finish line and you're a survivor. And if the woman so many people see on their television sets every night can make it there, she says, so can anyone else, suffering in silence. Even though his fists are stronger than mine, my voice is stronger than his. Tara Rosenblum, News 12. And Blaze's husband pled guilty to charges of obstruction of breathing, coercion, and three counts of child endangerment. If you or someone you know is struggling with domestic violence, head to our website, news12.com, and click on the Turn to Terror tab to find resources.